SactownRadio.com The number one station in the world Of the world, Craig Shit, not just the city, the world Yeah, yeah, what's good? It's your boy, Curse Lokes, SacktownRadio.com. This is the Dope Man Show. We got a real one, Oakland, California, Regine, all that shit. You know what it is. It's your boy, Yuck Mouth. This what's is going down? Show Dragon Gang, bang, bang. What's rocking with it? Man, you know, just good to get you online right here, seeing what's popping with you. Oh man, you know it's a lot of shit on the table. You know we rocking out like a cut off stock. It was popping, man. Let's do it. Off top, off top. Okay, so uh, you got the eighteen k that just dropped. I mean, yes, let's, yes, go, let's man. talk about that. Has been a long time coming. Yeah, eighteen years in the game, my G. I mean, really twenty years in the game, but officially on a on a record label, a major record label was nineteen ninety five when we dropped. Damn. 1995 when we dropped the Looney's uh, operation stack over in uh, his single I got five on it so that's what I consider the year so 95 right now which is 18 so 18, 18 year anniversary you know greatest hits album from 95 right now all the hits period right and yeah there's it's a lot called of the golden era they called the golden era I mean mainly the shit that was in the 90s because I ain't really got too much you know nothing else but the shit that was in the 90s and the early 2000s that was the greatest I mean, uh, Golden Air. So that's what's on the Golden Air CD. Right, right. Straight up. So you got that. You got the whole regime, smoke a lot movement going on. I mean, let's talk about that. What's what's the uh, what's the lineup like? Who you got rocking with that? It's the Mob, man. I only fuck with the Mob. My regime, Dragon Gang, is you know. Shout out to Amp. Shout out to Fly. Shout out to Drew Down. Shout out to Lee. Shout out to Boss Tone. Shout out to Ramin. Shout out to Chop Black. Shout out to Tech Nine, shout out to Monster Ganja, way the fuck out there in Australia. Shout out to BG Bullet Wound. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We got about 20 niggas in the mob. But um, that's what I focus on, the mob niggas. I, I can't do no extra niggas, no new niggas, you know. I fuck with family. The mob, we, we a brotherhood, we family. So that's what I rock with. As far as that, we just dropped the Dragon Gang album. We dropped the last Dragon uh, mixtape. Both of them is out. You know, the Dragon Gang album is out on iTunes and store and shit. And uh, the last Dragon mixtape is on uh, SouthernActive.com. You can on download that and uh, get you a free ball of this mob shit. You know, so that's how we rock it, my nigga. Dragon Gang, bang, bang, holla. Right, right. Okay, so the whole, um, let's talk about this rap a lot thing. How'd that whole conglomerate come together with Yuck Mouth and how'd that all pan out for you? Um, basically, man, um, you know, child, I mean, rest in peace to the big homie Siegel. You know, he, he's from my neighborhood, you know what I mean? So that that's where it started from, man, Siegel. He was the first artist from Oakland to be signed to Rap Live Records, period. So that led to my homeboys from my neighborhood working at Rap Live Records. So, when we were doing the Looney's album, just so happened that, you know, No Tribe Slash Virgin had a deal with Rap Life. So we in the studio together working on these other albums while Scarface working on Untouchable. We working on Lunatic Music and we using the same producers. So basically, uh, Lil J, you know, used to come in the studio in and out and he used to see me in the studio by myself. Like, you know, free numbs called Shout Out to Numb, but... On the, at that time, he was on some party animal shit. So he was never in the lab. I was always in there by myself, you know, lacing the hood and doing my verse and doing a half a verse and just leaving his part. So whenever he come through, he can lay his shit. So Jay seen me doing that. He was like, yo, man, fuck that. You need your own solo album. You're doing all the work. I'm like, you know, that's right. And then uh, my homie that worked, I rap a lot from the zeal, you know, from my neighborhood, you know, from the season days. He was like, yo, man. You know, Yuck Mouth's name is Smoke a lot. He needed to be a rock a lot anyway. And, you know, you know, Sigma was the best of buddies out of that from the same neighborhood. This continues the legacy. They're like, fuck it, man. Let's sign Yuck Mouth on the solo deal. So that's how I got my solo deal at Rap a lot. You know, hustling and, and grinding. And then seeing my grind, like, yo, man, this nigga need his own solo deal. He's doing all the work. You know, let it be known. I made the five on the hook. I didn't sing on it, but I made the hook. 
I got the beat and gave it to Tom. I bought the album, the, the Club Nouveau album, gave it to the producer and told him to remake it. So I co-produced that and I wrote the hook. So, I mean, that proves my writing skills. You know what I mean, I don't, you know, so here's what it is, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, you dropped a few on there and then uh, you just wrote that out and then uh, you came with the smoke a lot. And uh, that's what's new. That's what that's what you're just on now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm rocking, man. Me and the mob, man. I'm really focused on myself, man. You know, what I mean, how can you put anybody else on if you ain't on with yourself? So I'm focused on me, my music, you know, and doing me. You know, just staying relevant with my fan base, fans who fuck with me from day one. My day one niggas, I'm giving that a one shit. Period. All these other new booties, you know. I try to, you know. Give them some shit, you know. I, I try some new shit to appeal to them, you know. If they don't feel it, fuck them. You know, it is what it is. I'm gonna stick to the script and fuck with the mob. But, you know, I, I venture off and try to, you know, satisfy everybody because at the end of the day, I'm uh, a fan of hip hop. So I listen to everybody. So I know what's popping out there. So, of course, I do a song type that's popping out there, one of them type of songs every so now and then, just to give the fans what they want. But it's mainly about my mob shit, period. So. That's how I keep it straight up. Right, right. And you being a pioneer from this Bay Area music scene, what uh, what's Yuck's uh, take on it right now? How do you feel about it? Where do you see it going? Or, you know, where it's at now presently? I salute the Yanches, man. The Yanches uh, doing their thing. They turn the fuck up. Period, man. Salute. Uh, I am Sue. Uh, Save the Gemini. You know, uh, Clyde Carson. Um, everybody who out there is really making noise, you know what I mean, and the Bay that just got the Bay on fire, like, it's a Bay Area sound right now that's literally in the industry, like, cheesy and I'm using it, you know, uh, it's the boy named YG, all the LA dudes using it, uh, Problem, you know, uh, uh, Yo Gotti, everybody using that Bay Area sound, so, if everybody using your sound from different markets and different parts of the fucking, you know, globe shit, you are back on. I think we back on, and I want to salute the youngsters for putting that sound out there, you know. And, I mean, uh, L.A. niggas, too. You can't forget DJ, uh, DJ, uh, uh Mustard. He, he the one who's doing all the fucking beats. And you can't forget 40, Too Short, you know, Wiz Khalifa, all the other people who doing, you know, Bay Area type music, Drake. You know, the list goes on and on, but I mean, we back just from that. You know, everybody doing our type of music, that should let you know we back, period. So I salute all the answers for bringing us back. Do you, do you think with that sound, everybody trying to emulate that from outer regions, do you think it's going to catch on this time and probably be taken further have, than, it than have, other movements? It have caught on. It have caught on. It's just, there's a nigga from the bank going to be able to capitalize off of it. That's the question. Yeah. Because everybody right. else is right now. Everybody is rocking off of it. But is a Bay, I mean, Bay niggas is, is, you know, capitalizing in certain markets. But I'm talking about on that big market to where, I don't know, to where, to where it, it, it's, it's so big to where everybody else is doing this on MTV all day. I mean, no disrespect to, you know, to everybody else in the Bay who's doing music, but you don't see that on BET all day. You don't see that. Or MTV out there, you see that the down south people doing the, uh, the Bay music, or you see the New York people doing the Bay music, or you know somebody who ain't from the Bay doing the Bay music, but they on TV all day, so and on the radio all day. But if you go to the Bay, you go to LA, you gonna hear Bay Area artists. But anywhere else, it's just the artists emulating that. So right now, we just waiting for artists from the Bay to really just blow up everywhere off of it. You know what I mean? Period. Like just take it to the next level and claim that that's our sound you know yeah, yeah straight up i mean you worked with a lot a lot of these pioneers out here as well what was it like working with like 40 short i mean all of them oh yeah 40 is, is like the santa claus of, of the bay and the, and the, and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, like the mob following one nigga like he, he's the coolest nigga but he's the gangstiest nigga at the same time then don't fuck with 40 man all them sick with it niggas it, it, it's not yeah they, they went to shit so stuff 40 man he's the coolest dude ever man like me and 40 got a relationship like when he dropped his album I dropped my album we all hit each other I mean we both hit each other like yo you know great job bro we all like each other know like yo bro you could have did that on this one you should have did that in the third so 40 was a nigga that really let me know the realness like yo that shit was 
wrong, nah, you could have came better. And same with him. I'd be like, yo, man, you woo 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 woo. You went a little too left with it, or you woo 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 woo. But, you know, all in all, woo woo woo. So, Forty was a nigga who I really, like, like, uh, 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 examine my music with and examine his music with. We, we examine, we, we, we fuck with each other like that. But it's too short. We came in the game with short. Short was like, uh, our executive producers, like, fucking best buddy or he was in Dangerous Crew so they were all mobbing together so we drew down our whole first album was done in Dangerous Studios and all the beef done by Ann Banks so it was like a family thing with two shorts so when we beef and squashed the shit it was like you know we fam man we, we beefing over nothing that's why we did the funkin' over nothing track so after that it's been cool yo with Show Show just got me on his uh, new uh, Bay Area uh, compilation that he did a few years ago and uh, shit we've been cool ever since so straight up right right what about uh, Mac Dre how mm. you- Mac Dre that was my ace man if anybody would tell you man like Mac was a nigga who really fucked with me you know what I mean like he had to tell like niggas like not he had to tell but everybody was fucking with me at that time cause I was the biggest nigga from the gay area at that time you know what I mean? Coming with the thumbs out the Appalachian going go, coming with the tour bus, the rap black tour bus, rap with my album. You know what I mean? Uh, going to Oakland Tech and doing a big sign at my high school and had everybody like just crazy. It was about like a good 3,000 people out there. It was literally just out for my autograph sign at the high school. I mean, just making moves like that, period. You know what I mean? It just kept a nigga like, like, slick. Period. Just kept my buzz popping. You know what I mean? Just, Hey, motherfuckers, like, okay, I'll fuck with you. Straight up, so. That's what really got a nigga on, you know? Right, right. Um, the UGAs, the DVDs, I mean, is there more of those in the works? Uh, shit, yeah, we working on this uh, UGA value, I mean, part three, with uh, Lost Matt Dre footage, you know what I mean? So we gonna do that one. And, uh, shit, we doing the UGA uh, passport where I go overseas everywhere and show motherfuckers how we do a big overseas travel get that cake, that coin, uh, the fucking pounds, pesos, nigga, Dutch marks, nigga, euro, whatever they got, we get it off. You know what I mean? You don't need a passport stamp for this one. And, um, be working on, um, some documentaries. I'm about to do a documentary it's on a few, uh, big time kingpins in the Bay Area. You know, a lot of New York people, you know, they do uh, documentaries about their kingpins, but we never hear about the documentary. I mean, the documentaries about the dudes from the Bay Area, the dudes from L.A. Like, you gotta understand that when Reagan era, Reaganomics was popping, that coke, that crack got flooded through California. Period. The Panthers was in the Bay, got flooded up there, and got flooded through L.A. Because they had Panthers and Muslims down there, too. So at the end of the day, we was full throttle with it. So we got kingpins like a motherfucker who was millionaires at the age of 16 out here that the world needs to know about. So I'm doing documentaries on them. You know what I mean? And then my next album coming with a documentary, a behind the music type documentary called uh, JJ Banks on a Bill Story. That's the next album, but it's coming with a behind the music documentary about who I used to hustle with, interviews with niggas who I used to hustle with, the interviews with niggas who I'm in the uh, industry with. So, you know, I'm showing where, you know, I used to live at, hustle at, right, studios, you know, trips, this, that, and the third. Just all the shit, you know what I mean? That nigga went to coming up in this rap shit and street shit. So that's going to be a DVD. So I got a lot of things about to come up, more of the story. Straight up. Right, right. You, um, you work with a lot of the best of them. Right now, maybe in this industry, who would you really, really want to get on something with if you if you wanted to to make some more music? Um, shit, man. Uh, man, I, I still want to do a track with Dre. I feel like Dre got that ear, and he can uh, step an artist and push an artist further. That's what it seems like he's done with every artist he worked with. So I still want to do something with that Dre. Okay, okay, so uh, let me get a couple more questions in here right quick. Uh, as far as there's a lot of inner inner bay beefs going on right now, how do you feel about all that? Um, shit, man, um, you know what, what niggas, I, I fuck with everybody who beef with each other. If you talk about the Nancy Marvin, the Silky Rich, and the 
find each other. I fuck with all three of them dudes. So I just wish them dudes who just come to the table and squash that shit because everybody know each other. Everybody's in the bay. And we all repping one one car. It shouldn't be that way. Oh no bullshit. Oh no um, Instagram. Oh no texting. Oh no uh, somebody posting some fucked up pictures or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. If that's what that man do, let that man do what he do. Or if it was, you know, his bitch just flashing, just posting some bullshit. Whatever, let that man do what he do. Mess him off. Let him do what he want to do. If he want to be a gangbanger, let him be a gangbanger. It is what it is. He'll be rich. If he want to do what he want to do, let him do what he want to do. It is what it is. Everybody getting their own lane there. There's enough money for everybody, so... I don't like it at all, period. So, it is, me beefing with everybody, it sounds funny, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't like it. I'm a grown nigga right now. You know, beef don't make money, period. Straight up, straight up. All right, well, shit, we're about to cut it short right here, get up out of here. One love, thank you, yuck. Thank you, mm-hmm. my nigga. Thanks for the opportunity. One mile, Beijing Dragon Gang. Everybody go get that 18K, the Golden Era, and, and on iTunes right now. Everybody go uh, follow me on uh, IG at Regime General and follow me on uh, Twitter at The Real Yuck Mouth and hit the website, smokelotrecords.com for all the latest tour information, all the latest albums, merchandise, uh, DVDs, my radio show, Smoke Lot Radio, uh, all the shit, theory, videos, everything. Hit smokelotrecords.com, uh, smokelotrecords.com. On that note, thank you, Playboy. Thanks for having a real nigga up there doing Sacramento, San Francisco, Oakland, Vallejo, San Jose. We are Northern California. We are SacTownRadio.com.